Hello students, so let's understand this question first. The blades of an aeroplane propeller are 2 meter long and they rotate at the rate of 300 rpm. Calculate its angular velocity. Calculate the angular velocity. We have an aeroplane propeller which is 2 meter long uska radius. Hai. Uh, propeller ki, uh, jo length is 2 meter. Hai. And it is 300 rpm ke, uh, uh, velocity se, angular velocity. Se ghum rahe hai. Uh, basically, we have to find omega. Karna hai. Uh, we need to find out omega. So let's write, uh, write down what we have been given firstly. We know frequency of rotation is 300 rpm. Now length of the propeller here we will say radius in this case is 2 meter. We need to find out the angular velocity. Uh, let's write to find omega. Okay, so let's start with our solution. We know that if frequency is given in RPM, then we need to convert it to revolutions per second to get omega. Okay, this we have been given in rpm and we need to convert it to revolutions per second what does this mean this means that 300 rpm in one minute yeah 300 rotations in 300 revolutions in one minute which says 300 revolutions in 60 seconds so if i need to find out in one second how many revolutions will be there so i can say in one second the revolutions will be 300 by 60 which is equal to 5 revolutions per second okay so i can write down this frequency as as 3 revolutions per second okay now we know in one revolution the angle covered is 2 pi. So now in 5 revolutions, what would be the angle covered? You can say it would be equal to 2 pi into 5, which is equal to 10 pi. Okay. So in 1 second, 5 revolutions are being happened. Uh, so uh, the number of uh, revolution, the omega will be 10 pi per second. In five, uh, in 5 RPS, in 5 RPS, omega will be equal to 10 pi radian per second. Now, if I keep the value of uh, pi, I will get the answer as omega equal to 10 into 3.14, which is equal to 31.4 approximately radian per second. So this is our answer. Thank you.